Hello, brothers. I'm Dr. George Bug from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a neonatologist and here to talk to you about safe sleep for our infants. Safe sleep for our babies is a way to reduce the risk of sudden infant death syndrome and other sleep-related causes of infant death. I'm going to be talking today using a program developed by the National Institute for Child Health and Development. I suggest that you go to Google and Google Safe Sleep, N-I-C-H-D, and you will be drawn to this website. This website is very informative. As you can see, there is an interactive room about safe sleep. There are printable and shareable resources. And you'll see that uh, there is the uh, brochure that I will be illustrating some of the pages from in this illustration. Back to sleep and safe sleep environment are the components of safe sleep. And you can see this illustration that the baby is being put to sleep on their back, back to sleep. The baby should always be put to sleep on their back. The baby is also in a safe environment. Now, for some of us, it may look rather stark, but this is a safe environment for the baby. The baby is in a crib with a firm mattress, a single fitted sheet, and is in an approved crib. That is, there is a Consumer Product Safety Commission that regulates how cribs are made so they are safe for infants. So always on their back when they sleep and always in a safe sleep environment. One of the questions that's often asked is, would it be more difficult for a baby to sleep and regurgitate if they were on their back or on their stomach? This anatomical diagram is to show that if a baby is asleep on their back, then if the uh, food content comes up the esophagus, it will likely pool in the posterior pharynx, causing the baby to cough and also allowing the baby to protect the airway, which is anterior or above the esophagus therefore making it more difficult for the baby to aspirate. Contrast that to the baby sleeping on their tummy, then the food comes up the esophagus and then can leak into the trachea or airway and then allow the baby to aspirate more easily. So it is safer for the baby to sleep on their back than on their stomach. Another component of this campaign is that the baby should sleep in the same room, but not in the same bed. There is not bed sharing or co-bedding. As you can see from this picture, the baby is on a firm surface and is in with arm reach of the mother. So she can breastfeed the baby. And when she and the baby are ready, then put the baby back to bed in the baby's bed next to, but not in the same bed as the mother. So in the same room, but not in the same bed. <clears throat> Putting it all together, the baby should sleep in the same area, same sleep area, same room as a parent, but in a separate uh, bed. The bed should be a firm bed, firm mattress with a flat surface and a um, mattress, single mattress, and it should be approved by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. The baby should not be put to sleep uh, on a couch or a chair uh, or sleeping on someone. There should be no smoking uh, any, anywhere around the baby, no pillows, blankets, uh, toys in the bed. The baby should have sleepwear that's appropriate and always put to sleep on their back. Now, continuing that message of everything that can be done in the firm surface, uh, room sharing, uh, no soft objects, Again, to reduce the risk of sudden infant death syndrome, there should be regular prenatal care during the pregnancy, avoid smoking, drinking alcohol, marijuana, illegal drugs during the pregnancy or after the baby is born. And you're drawn to this illustration about breastfeeding. Breastfeeding does reduce the risk of SIDS. The incidence of breastfeeding, the duration of breastfeeding is increasing and needs to continue to increase uh, in our community to save more babies. The youngest infants are at the highest risk. And as you can see that about 72% of all SIDS cases happen in the first four months of life. As the baby gets older and starts being able to roll over in their sleep, then there's less risk of sudden infant death syndrome. This is the brochure that I uh, have gone through parts of 
And I would ask that all the brothers uh, go to the website you can, that I've illustrated uh, and put in orders for the booklet. You, anyone can order up to 200 booklets. It would be a good thing for all parents, parents to be, uh, our mentees to have. This is a great public health campaign put on by our federal government to inform us of the best way for our infants to sleep. They should always sleep on their back. They should have tummy time when they are awake and someone is there with them. But no co-bedding and always, always breastfeeding is best for our infants. Thank you very much, my brothers. Have a great day.